Hello, Gee Bear. <laughs> what is that face? That's why I wish Grandma could come to graduation. I know. Can you oh, see your ring? Doing Wait. Fat finger. Beautiful. Now my CC is set in her curls. Getting all beautiful again for another day for her graduation. Trying to learn how to get a gradual tan. She's trying to learn how to get a gradual tan from my Pisces Jimmy. I don't know his last name. Jim. <laughs> What? Can't feel my eyes closed. <laughs> Ogie, close that one still. <laughs> close your eyes. You can see me when I'm pretty after. Oh, good. We're totally not done yet, but at this stage. Look at her painting hair. And if you know what painting we're talking about, we will both marry you. If you're a man. <laughs> or a girl. Just a man. Little pigtail. Millions of little pigs die for this. Here she goes. Hi, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> I Trust actually feel like I'm gonna puke. Trust really. the dress real quick. Like my school color. Fabulous. <laughs> Lucas board. Lucas hates me. We're going to the Van Weasel, which is a very fancy place to have your graduation. And it's raining, but my camera works anyway. Haha. Because -ha. <laughs> it can get wet and it can get dropped. Logan Riley McKinley. <laughs> Timothy Thomas Schultz. The meaning of the term commencement is beginning. And today, we are reminded that this is not the end. This is only the beginning. Congratulations, Class of 2012. The slug is making a heart. It's a Lego man right there. What are you doing, Lego man? Look at this beautiful, beautiful Justin. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> when we saw it, it just came out from behind the building and there was this couple that was making out and we all walked by and it looked like we were looking at them and we were all going, oh my god, look at that. And they looked at us like, what? <laughs> wow, pretty sky over here too. What are you doing? Getting ready to go rollerblading, but it is looking so stormy. This is one of my favorite parks. We call it Terabithia, but the actual name is Rothenbach. Rothenbach. Ah! Rothenbach Park. And it is so going to storm. And the park closes at 8 and I have like 45 minutes. Um, so my mom's walking back right there and I'm trying to get a quick workout. But sometimes I see really cool stuff in here so I'm going to show you guys. See those bungee cords? 
that's what you do when you don't have a lot of money and you've had your rollerblades since you were 10 years old. <laughs> My straps were plastic and they cracked off, so I put bungee cords around them. Look at that bead. Look at that baby. It still has its little spots. It's so cute. That was really cool with the storm and everything. How they looked at me. I was like... <sighs> really dramatic. This is Alan. He went to school at Newgate with me, and we're Skyping, and he lives in Boston. 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 Um, I was going to say uh, Rhode Island. Um, and we both got something in the mail recently, which is this. It's like a little time capsule that we made in our one of our classes, and we each wrote these little slips of paper um, for all of our classmates, and then we said that we, our teacher would send it to us in five years, so I'm just reading them, and it's really, really funny. But I feel bad because, um, I didn't finish all of mine, so like, I Alan, didn't get one from Jesse. Yeah, he didn't get one, and I'm really sorry because I, I remember that I wasn't doing it right or something. So this is the first one I opened, which is actually from Alan, and it says, You are a writer, and... You're a writer of plays and novels who travels all over the world learning new languages and exploring new cultures. That was so awesome because that's And she does what I speak more do. languages than I do. And <laughs> <laughs> and will become a writer very soon. Yay. I think that we're going to be together in a in a Spanish city. <laughs> So exciting! Oh my gosh! Could come true! You're going to make a movie in Spanish. Who said that one? Um, this is still Allie. But you are a... Hold on, this is really hard to hold. You are a girl... Can't read what that word is. With a perfect accent of Russia. <laughs> I know, you know Johnny Depp, and you are one of the Victoria's Secret models. <laughs> hmm. I like that one. Can you hear Annie? She's chewing on a bone. Oh, this is from Yuki. <laughs> it's probably going to be very random. I see Jesse has a famous whipcracker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just always loved me so much. He knew you had potential. Yeah. So psychic. This girl, Vanessa, who we didn't know very well, she said I would be on the show America's Next Top Model, which I actually auditioned for. And I ended up going to like the second round or something and I had to go to Atlanta and Dot and Logan came with me and we were so poor. And so we were staying at this hotel and we had to go, we went through, there's like 60 stories or something and we went through each story and collected all the food that was outside that people didn't eat that like, cause like they order room service and then they don't even want it. it and then they put it outside. Oh my god. She didn't write that part though, of course. Here's a cryptic one from one of our dear friends, Inigo. I don't want to admit this, but I think the theater business will be over. But you're smart enough to do something you love. Oh, from Dato. I always love her handwriting. I'm not sure what kind of thing exactly, but I imagine you like Jane Goodall. That's a great compliment. You will change the world with your ideas and the books that you write. But you will not get old, boring, and serious. <laughs> Which Jane Goodall is not. I don't think she's referring to that. You will be highly cultured, 
operas, Broadway movies. You will travel all around and see all the wonders of the world. Aww. The end. Wow. People have a pretty consistent view of you, Jessica. Yeah, that's really weird, actually.